Time, as we know it, is a dimension we experience only in one direction. But what if one of the additional dimensions wasn't spatial, but temporal? In the block universe, the past, the present, and the future exist in the same way. The past in which your grandma is still alive exists the same way as this present moment. The afterlife has long been a subject of fascination, mystery, and contemplation for humanity. While the concept often dwells in the realm of spirituality and philosophy, there exists a captivating and unconventional perspective on the afterlife, one that emerges from the annals of modern physics, specifically Einstein's special theory of relativity. It unravels a notion where the traditional boundaries of time and existence blur, prompting us to explore a concept known as the afterlife through the lens of Einstein's groundbreaking theory. Every point in the past and every point in the future are just as real as the point of time you feel yourself in right now. Einstein believed that literally. So let us embark on a journey through the extraordinary afterlife as defined by Einstein's special relativity, where time itself becomes a transcendent enigma. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn mysteries of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. Before the revolutionary ideas put forth by Einstein, time was a universally shared constant, a fixed parameter that everyone from taxi riders to physicists could unanimously agree upon. It was a common thread woven through the fabric of reality. But then came Einstein, challenging this age-old notion with a deceptively simple postulate, the finite speed of light. In a world where nothing can travel faster than the speed of light, this seemingly straightforward premise yielded profound consequences, reshaping our understanding of time itself. Consider for a moment the screen before you. Naively, one might assume that it exists in the now because it's right there in front of your eyes. However, the revelation that the speed of light is finite means that everything you perceive, including the screen, exists as it was a fraction of time in the past. Thus, the concept of now becomes a question mark, and the very essence of the present moment is thrown into doubt. Einstein's theory of special relativity wades into these murky waters, introducing us to the relativity of simultaneity. Let's illustrate this with an intriguing scenario. You're observing a train in motion. At both ends of the train, flashes of light emanate just as your friend Alice stands in the middle, gazing towards you. If we view this from your vantage point, these light flashes seem to synchronize in time, since they come from sources equidistant from you. However, shift to Alice's perspective, and the narrative changes. As she moves towards one light source and away from the other, the light has different distances to traverse, causing her to perceive the flashes at distinct moments. Astonishingly, both of these perspectives are valid, underscoring the subjective nature of the now. The astonishing implication of the relativity of simultaneity is that every moment can be someone's now, including the past and the future. This challenges our conventional understanding of time, casting it as a subjective experience dependent on the observer. Einstein's ingenious resolution to this temporal puzzle lies in the amalgamation of space and time, yielding the unified concept of space-time. In this remarkable framework, there is no privileged now. The past, present, and future coexist, giving birth to what physicists call the block universe. One of his best friends died, and he wrote a letter to this person's wife. And my friend is just over the next hill. He's still there, we can't see him where we are now, but we are on this landscape with him, and he still exists just as much as he ever has. In this intriguing perspective, all moments, past, present, and future exist simultaneously. This concept rocks the very foundations of our traditional understanding of time, transforming it into a static, unchanging entity, where every instant, whether it's the past or the future, is as real as the present moment. The eternal existence of the deceased finds another angle in the conservation of information. The laws of nature as we currently understand them do not obliterate information, they merely rearrange it. This implies that, in principle, with enough computational power and understanding, we could retrieve information about the past, even about individuals who have passed away. While this doesn't allow for direct communication with the departed, it suggests that the information defining them persists. 
it disperses as subtle correlations within the remnants of their body, entangling with the surrounding particles and gradually diffusing into the cosmos. It's an idea intimately connected to our existence, and while the practical implications may be limited for now, it beckons us to ponder the mysteries of the distant future. Who's to say what might transpire in the eons to come? Perhaps in some unforeseeable era, new forms of consciousness or advanced technology will render this information accessible once more. In conclusion, these thought-provoking ideas from the world of physics push the boundaries of our traditional understanding of time, existence, and the afterlife. The relativity of simultaneity and the concept of the block universe challenge our perception of now, painting it as an illusion, an ever-shifting perspective contingent on the observer. These concepts encourage us to contemplate the profound questions surrounding life, existence, and the mysteries of the universe. They prompt us to reflect on the nature of time and reality, ultimately expanding our comprehension of the cosmos and our place within it. As we venture deeper into the enigmatic realms of physics, we are confronted with the tantalizing notion that our existence transcends the passage of time. There appears to be something timeless about the information that defines us and the universe itself. While these concepts may challenge our everyday understanding, they remind us of the extraordinary power of the scientific method in unlocking the enigmas of our existence and the cosmos. The philosophical implications of these profound concepts are as intriguing as the scientific ones. They invite us to contemplate our place in the grand tapestry of the universe, if the present moment is but a subjective construct and the past and future coexist with it, what does this mean for our perception of existence? It challenges the conventional linear flow of time, where events follow one another in a sequence. Instead, it presents a reality where everything that has ever occurred and will ever occur is already laid out in the vast expanse of space-time. This perspective also raises existential questions about the nature of consciousness and identity. If the information that defines us endures, albeit dispersed and entangled in the universe, what does it imply about our individuality? Can we conceive of a version of existence where we, as individuals, exist in a timeless, ethereal manner, not confined by the limitations of our mortal lives? Moreover, the tantalizing notion that information doesn't truly vanish, but becomes increasingly difficult to retrieve sparks, curiosity about the future of technology and our understanding of the universe. As our knowledge and capabilities evolve, might we one day unlock the secrets of information retrieval from the past, unraveling not only the mysteries of our own existence, but the entire history of the cosmos. In the grand tapestry of the universe, these concepts remind us that there are still many riddles to unravel and mysteries to contemplate. While they may challenge our conventional understanding of time and existence, they also offer a glimpse into the infinite possibilities and uncharted territories of both science and philosophy. As we continue to delve into the enigmatic realms of physics, we may find that our existence transcends the passage of time revealing a timeless aspect of the information that defines us and the universe itself. While these ideas may be challenging to grasp in our everyday lives, they underscore the immense power of the scientific method in unraveling the enigmas of our existence and the boundless mysteries of the cosmos.